Hello, hello, beautiful people. It's been a while. Yes, it's been a while. Yes, I have been gone for like forever. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about relocation. Yes, I relocated. I recently relocated to Finland and I also recently had a baby. That is why I have been missing in the scene. Yes, did I tell you? A baby girl. Mm -hmm. Now, if you've missed me, mm -hmm, I missed you also, but I was busy with one thing or the other. And I said, why not come on here and fill you in, my lovely fans? So let's roll. Okay, guys. Where do we start from? Um, this is like a sit down and chat video. Where do we start from? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do we start from my pregnancy? Or do we start from traveling my pregnant? Or do we start from settling in Finland? Or where do we start from this video? I'm just going to be rumbling, but in my recent, but in my subsequent videos, we are going to make some sense. Yes, guys. And there is this question that many people have always been wondering about is it really possible to travel when you're over eight months pregnant or when you're eight months pregnant yes it's it's very possible to travel when you're eight months and above but i'm going to tell you what you need in order for you to travel and we are also going to be talking about the kilograms when you're traveling from like asia you're not traveling directly from africa to europe when you're traveling from asia to europe the kilograms that you are um, you do the kilograms that you rightly have to carry with you. Yes, guys, if you're interested in this, stay put, stay put. Now, many people say that it's practically impossible for pregnant women to travel. Yes, I am at a, mm, without having a major issue or airlines have problems. It's true. Airlines will have problems with women traveling after the um, after maybe seven months because they are scared that maybe some women might put to bed in the plane. And if a woman puts to bed in a plane, it's a big loss for them because like for life that woman and that baby are going to be having free flight tickets so to keep their business in place and not to lose a lot of money they are scared but that does not mean it's impossible because i have recently moved from south korea where i lived for 10 years and i am now in finland and we are also going to be talking about um giving birth in Korea, in South Korea, and giving birth in Finland. What was the experience like? But before I go out of topic, mm -hmm, guys, yes. But coming back to traveling with pregnancy, is it possible? Yes, it's possible, but you need a doctor's report to say your pregnancy is advancing normally and um, different airlines have different principles but most of the airlines from seven months it's practically impossible to travel except you don't tell them that um, you're pregnant or except you put on some big clothes and if you happen to do that and you happen to like uh, um, give birth in the plane your pregnancy is not insured so nobody can help you with anything but so it's always advisable to get a report from your doctor tie it in with your your flight ticket and then you file it in so they know and when you when you do that they give you special treatment in the plane like guys when i went to the plane i had a whole row to myself i could sleep because i had a 14 hour straight direct flight without any break <laughs> oh guys i need to make a video on preparing to go on the flight that long like there were no stops while pregnant you know some pregnant women can swell up what are some of the things that you can do for you not to swell up or for you to be more comfortable in the plane that aside that would be another video so get your airline to know you're pregnant get your airline to know the, how many months get a certificate from your doctor to prove that your pregnancy is progressing normally so you can board the plane now these are all the things I did. I got documentation from my doctor, my surgeon in, um, my doctor, my pediatrician in South Korea, stating that my pregnancy was advancing normally and that I could travel. And that even at that, it was a hustle to travel because the airline was thinking my pregnancy was too overdue because I was eight months and, you know, <laughs> you know how we do, they do. Yes, that is it, guys. And also, when you want to travel when you're pregnant, try to get, these are some of the tips that I used that made my flight really small. Try to get um, the seat within by the aisle or a seat closer to the toilet. 
lavatories because you know you always as pregnant women especially at that late stage the third um, trimester you always press you're always using the bathroom like that so get a seat that is close to the bathroom where you can access the bathroom like i went to the bathroom like a million times before the plane finally arrived in finland and yes get a get a seat by the aisle get a seat closer to the bathroom so you can easily assess that make sure you have all your documentations although they are with doc they are always doctors and nurses on the plane make sure you get all your documentations in the case of something your pregnancy is insured and you can get all the full coverage and benefits that you need before you're stepping on the plane so yes it's possible to step in the plane while that pregnant that heavily pregnant and now should i talk about the kilograms Mm. or should i make that for another video anyway guys this was just to tell you guys that i relocated from south korea to finland and the experience has been wow i did not want my channel to be this um silent for so long because it has been so silent so i wanted to come on here and to tell you the good news of the birth of my baby girl Mm -hmm. I had two sons, so now I had a third one, which is a girl, and that says it all. That is why you can see me glow, 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 glow. So, guys, in my recent video, in my subsequent video, sorry, I will be talking about Finland. I will keep it real with Finland. I will keep it real with Europe. I would compare Finland in south korea in some aspects and then we'll get some juicy stuff so if you're looking forward to moving to europe or moving to finland i'm going to be keeping it real and raw here so this is the place for you send me messages in my dm what you want to know about i'm also going to be talking about my pregnancy vlog what happened in the pregnant what happened during the pregnancy what happened in the delivery how different it was how cozy it was how smooth it was and mm, 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 how different it was mm -hmm. if that's something you're interested in then always come back to this video always come back to this platform always come back to this channel and i will cue you in who miss my beautiful and chubby face mm -hmm. i'm growing more chubbier of course it's normal because i just put to bed so yes guys there has been a there has been a regular relocation so those of you that worry about the kilograms how many kilograms can you carry because there's a lot of the whole lot of confusion i'm going to make a video about that how many kilograms actually you can carry and how you can use your tactics to bring in more kilograms more kilograms yes because like 23 kilograms which is the now my kilograms from south korea to or from asia to europe is really small like you you can barely you have you can barely carry anything but i'm going to give you some tips on how to do or what to do so you can carry more so guys this is sherry bell jane tv and if you have missed me i am back and i'm back like i never left and i'm back with good content if you're planning to move to europe Mm, this is the channel for you if you're planning to move to finland mm, this is the channel for you yes guys so stay put and see you in my next video bye bye